Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Taking time out to be. Okay, y'all, so I have on the unit, and this unit is so, so pretty. It looks so natural. Like, this just looks like my real hair. I have my lace melting right now, but let me show y'all how that turned out. I'm not too sure what you guys can see because y'all are upside down. My screw came out of my camera, and I gotta get my husband to fix it. But look at this lace. And I really like to wear my yakky units in a ponytail because they look so natural. So they look so pretty pulled back. So I love wearing them like this too. It'll look something like this, of course, brushed and a little neater. But this is so good. I have done a bob with the yakky hair before and it looks really pretty but one thing about yakky hair it does shed so you just have to be careful um, I'm not using the tape that came with the unit because y'all know I love to use my spray but my unit is still glueless but I'm trying this new spray this even spray and this one is water resistant sport edition because y'all know I work out so if I wanted to wear this to the gym it's fast drying sweat resistant humidity proof 30 times the hole and no residue. So that's what I use on my lace. Um, so like I said, it is still glueless. But if you guys want to use the tape, feel free to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flat iron it. This is also the natural color that it comes in. This, the natural black or it might be a natural brown. I'll have the information in the description box below. We're gonna use some of this Silk Therapy Bio Silk. It is a heat protectant. It's so good, but I really like a nice shine when I do the Yaki units just because the unit already looks super natural. So if you put a shine to it, it looks even better. Um, I've been wearing the Yaki units for um, maybe a few months now. So I've really gotten used to them and know what works what looks good i haven't curled one before i only you know straighten them the last yaki unit that i tried my little sister took that one <laughs> and she's been getting so many compliments on it so we love a good yaki unit look how pretty and this is before i flat iron it look at that Nice little shine. It holds a nice shine. It looks so, so natural. Look at it. And then y'all know that they sent me this brush right here, this paddle brush, but it has like the bristles. Y'all know like the brushes that we like to use. It has those bristles on it, which I love this brush. This is actually my old one. This is not the one that they sent to me this time, but they did, they did send me a new one, which I'm so happy about because this works very well with my natural hair. So I love the fact that they sent this to brush the Yaki unit. Cause like I said, this is what I use for my natural hair. It works so good. Takes out the tangles. But we're gonna just flat iron her. I am flat ironing on 450. You don't have to use four. Oh, it's not 450. It's can y'all see that? Because I don't know what y'all can see. I told y'all y'all upside down. It's 430. You don't have to go that high. Um, I just like to. Okay. 
And y'all don't forget to go in the description box if you guys are interested in this unit because I always get so many questions about my units. And I also share it on my Instagram as well because y'all know I'm always on my stories on Instagram and I get a lot of questions about my hair. So I'll also share the link there. So y'all just make sure to be on the lookout. Look how pretty. Look at that. All right, y'all. So here is the final look. This hair is so pretty, so silky soft, and it looks so natural, okay? So natural. Look at this. So pretty, deep parting. We love this unit. So if you guys are interested in this unit, I'll have all the information in the description box below. Hey guys, it's Sharika. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Today is Monday. I just wanted to pop in really quick and start off the vlog. So I hope you guys enjoy. Today I'm actually in the parking lot of Velk. I wanted to come up here to see if they had the Orion dupes that I got. Um, I want to see if they have the black, brown, and white because the last time I came, they didn't have them um, in stock. Um, but they, didn't they didn't have my size. So, um, I've heard that they're back on sale. So, I just came up here to check things out. And if they have those colors in my size, then I'm going to get those. So, I am going to show you guys once I get them. Um, I didn't show y'all the outfit of the day because... Y'all saw this outfit already. I wore this outfit last week and I'm wearing it again today. Yes, we repeat over here. We are not one hit wonders, okay? <laughs> so I'll just pop in a little clip that I did from Instagram. I'm wearing my shades from Amazon. I bought these um, last year. A lot of you guys remember because they did sell out. Um, but yeah, everybody loved these sunglasses so much. I like them too. I haven't worn them in a while. Probably ever since like that week that I got them. I haven't worn them since then. But they're so cute. So let's go and belt. And I'll show you guys what they have. I don't think they have my size still. They didn't have my size. Most of all of those shoes that they had are gone. Like they didn't really restock them either. And then they don't have my size in the brown or the black or the white online let me look at the white real quick the colors that i really want i really want the black and the brown but they don't have them mm -mm. all right this color looks crazy all right, let's go to, I wonder, I really wanted to go to the mall and try on some stuff. And then I need to go to Walmart, but I'm going to wait like early in the morning because I have a sponsorship with Walmart. So I have to go look for a few pieces. They already put the money in my account to do that. And so um, I need to go find some pieces in Walmart because I have to have that to have the video to them by Friday so how do I get out of here so yeah um but I think I'll probably wait until I'll wait until the morning to do that the morning time when it's not that many people in there and I can really focus so I'm back home I am in my pajamas but I've been recording tiktok so i recorded two so far of just like up oh. so i recorded two so far just of like my outfits and stuff so i told y'all before and most of you guys know this if you guys have been following me for a while but i used to do a little bit of fashion content um I used to, when I worked in corporate and me dressing up all the time. So I used to do like work attire and things like that. It was really fun. I really enjoyed it. And then once I started doing it, that's when the pandemic happened. And I just never started back. 
but you know like i told you guys anytime i share my outfits on youtube you guys will be like why you don't show your outfits more and stuff like that because y'all know i'll live in a good workout set okay but i decided you know what i do like dressing up i do like looking cute and i want to share that more and it just kind of forces me to dress up every day not dress up but it kind of forces me to put myself together every day and i actually really enjoy it so i've been sharing it on my stories on instagram and then i'll do tiktoks and then i have my like to know it account i'm gonna start incorporating it on my instagram like my actual instagram page instead of doing it on the stories all the time um but i know for a fact people like my style i've started doing that and i'll be looking at my tiktok like okay so is this gonna be like a outfit of the day page i don't know but i do want to get i do want to do a little bit of everything like i hate being just stuck in a box because there's so many things that i love so many things that i'm good at and i want to share them here so we gonna do a little bit of this and a little bit of that but i recorded um an outfit for tomorrow and wednesday i had one other video that i recorded but i don't really like that and it's not anything like hard or anything like that it's just very basic i just take my phone and just you know film myself in the mirror sometimes i'll talk them through the outfit but these last two i think i'm gonna do like some voiceovers and something and stuff like that i've been like trying that for the last week i've been growing a little bit because y'all know i started my tiktok over um <laughs> because <laughs> girl me and tiktok way getting along but i was like let me just get on it because i do like the app and let me just get on it so um i think i have like 1700 followers right now and so i just been having fun with it it is what it is so um yeah so i just did that now i am having a coffee and cooking dinner i just got like some stew beef it has potatoes bell pepper and then we're gonna make it with some rice but that's just for them because y'all know i'm not eating beef um i'm gonna have some boiled shrimp because we took out like a lot of shrimp yesterday to fry but because i don't like that batter i was just like you know what i just had like six fried shrimp which that's still good enough but when you at home girl give me a good 10 piece okay but i did six shrimp yesterday Tony had bought this fish fry where he couldn't find the other one. And I should have tried this, but it's one of those fish fries that's very salty to me. And I don't know if it's this Zatarain's or not. Um, I low-key want to try this because I just was not happy with the one that I had yesterday. Is it the Zatarain's that's salty? It's one of them that's really salty to me and I just don't like it. I'm so disappointed in my ultra seasoning. But um, if you guys have some fried seafood batter recommendations, please let me know. Um, even though we don't eat too many fried foods all the time, but we do sometimes eat our fried seafood. And girl, I was upset. Some of the fish fries do have to have the cornmeal, I think. But you know when it just looked just like, like your grandma used to make it. I really i don't really vibe with that too but so nothing like that so yeah i'm just gonna sit here relax for a little while i'm taking a quick little break so the dinner gets ready so i can because they should be home soon have me a coffee um catch up on who i'm, I'm watching um a vlog right now so i'm gonna catch up on that and i'll pick you guys back up later babes Hey y'all, today is Tuesday. It is 8.30 in the morning. I just got home from the gym. I'm just trying to cool down for a second. But y'all, I have to tell you. Girl, tell me why. I went to the community gym today. And I walked in the men's bathroom. Now this is my second time doing it. I'm thanking God that nobody was in there with the one eyed snake out because girl, I would not be able to get that out of my head. But I think it's because, first of all, I haven't like been in that restroom 
enough to you know where it's just it comes to me that this first one is the men's bathroom because usually it's the women's bathroom so that's why I keep throwing me off this is my second time so I remember like the first time I did it when I walked in I'm like why look what they did to the bathroom and then I because their bathroom is much smaller than ours so I'm just like oh my gosh I'm in the men's bathroom and then I did it again today, but I didn't actually walk in. I just kind of opened the door and I'm like, oh gosh, I came in the wrong bathroom. But girl, I am so happy that nobody was in there because, <laughs> girl, it would have been a situation, okay? I'm just, so I'm, try I'm trying to get my mind together. But I don't really have anything planned today. Last night, I cleaned up um my closet a little bit i got rid of a few things i have sitting over there in the chair i'm not going to take those items just yet because i want to do one more clean out but i did find a few pair of shoes that i'm willing to sell to one of you guys if you guys are interested the first pair is a pair of new balances let me show y'all some of y'all probably remember these i've only worn them one time but they're too big so this is how they look can y'all see that? They're so cute. Look. They're so, so cute. But this is a men's shoe. And I wanted them so bad, I got a men's eight. And I usually wear a men's seven. But I was like, well, maybe they'll run small. So I'll just get the eight. But then they're just, they're too big. So they're not like flopping off my foot. But... They're just, they're too big. This is how they look from the side. And I've only worn them once. Y'all know I take care of my stuff anyway. So they're the cutest. So y'all hit me up on Instagram if you guys are interested in these. Like I said, this is a men's size eight. So you have to, you know, kind of figure out what size you wear in a men's shoe. They're really small still. And then I got these heels. So I'm just gonna bring one of each up here. So these right here. Hopefully y'all can see from the glare. How cute are these? Never warm. I'm keeping the cream ones. But this is a very beautiful blue. And then this really pretty orange. It's looking kind of bright. It is like a, let me see. Y'all can really see. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the true color. Um, this is a size nine. On the bottom it says seven, but y'all know that's the UK size. But it's a size nine and never worn them before. Y'all remember when these shoes were super popular? I loved them. I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta get all three. I got these from Pretty Little Thing. And like I said, I'm going to keep the cream ones and I'm going to try to wear these. The heel is not high at all. See that? Nice size heel. Love the size on this heel. But I never wore these. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to wear these this spring, summer. I'm going to wear them because they're just so adorable. I love them so much. And when I saw the bottom and I saw the size 7, I'm like, oh my gosh, they sent me the wrong size because it looks really small, but it's the right size. It's a size 9. So, if you guys are interested, blue, orange, brand new, never worn, hit me up and we'll discuss some pricing. So, yeah, that's it. I still have to go to Walmart to look for some outfits. I think I'm gonna go online for a little bit just to kind of see um, what they have because I don't have time to order the stuff because I have to have the video sent to them, the draft sent to them on by Friday. Um, so of course I'm gonna include the pieces that I showed you guys already, the black uh, little two piece and then that little romper. I'm going to include that in the haul. Um, so when I do the video, y'all interact with the video. 
okay i know some some of y'all be wanting to congratulate on the sponsorship but if you guys want to help me out click the links okay comment about the items that i show or click the links that helps me because they watch it so um so yeah i'm gonna just look online just to get an idea so when i go in there i can kind of know what i'm looking for like maybe i'll get some outfit ideas that i know i can find in walmart and then that way you know i kind of know what i'm doing so that's what i'm gonna do i'm trying to decide which walmart i want to go to um yeah i think i know which one i'm gonna go to i think i'm gonna go to the one that's right across the street from target and um see what i can find i think i'm gonna do that now so i'm gonna just get a drink of water really quick and then i'm gonna wear this we're going right to walmart and see what we can find so y'all don't forget hit me up um on instagram if you guys are interested in the shoes i guess i could just sell these for like Mm, like forty dollars each because i think i paid like eighty dollars for these or something like that so even though they're brand new i'll let them go for forty dollars each and then these will do i'll have to look it up i'm gonna look up the price on these and then i'll do like half of that because i know that these weren't cheap they're really cute and they're really they're in really good condition. Stop looking for them because every time I went online, they were sold out. So, <laughs> and they look really cute on my foot, but like I said, they're just a little too big because I wear a size seven in men's. So, that's that. Let me go drink some water, child, because I am thirsty. I am leaving the post office but i was thinking this morning because i finally talked to the hair company and it made me think about a situation that recently happened um during my last wig sale and i never mentioned it to y'all but i feel like the girl and i know exactly who she is because we looked at the receipts and things and this is not the first time um, that she's purchased a wig for me but um, so y'all know when I had did the last wig sale and weeks had went by of course whenever I send the units off they'll tell me at the post office what day my people should um, expect the units to get there so the time had passed and one of you guys had reached out and was like hey um, it's been a little minute and i was just double checking to find out if you sent the wigs out because i haven't received my unit yet so i'm like you should have been received the units you know like all the dates have passed so i said okay well let me check something really quick because she was like no i haven't received it so I'm looking over everything, you know, all of my receipts and things like that. And I noticed that the post office made the mistake of putting the same address on two units, which, you know, I should, that's my bad because I should have triple checked. But, you know, usually like when you're sending something off, they'll ask you, okay, is the address on the screen correct? You put yes, whatever. So everything was all good on that end because I always you know double check but then in this instant i should have triple checked because i don't know like how that mistake happened and i'm like that little helper like you could have at least just reached out to me and was like hey i received an extra wig that i didn't pay for was this a mistake or what did you send this to me as a gift or what's going on but no, sis ain't say nothing. And that made me look bad because the other girl that paid for the unit, you know, that's probably like, she don't know me from a can of paint. She only know me from YouTube. So she like, well, damn, she out here scamming people, you know? So it just, it kind of hurt my feelings because I'm like, damn, like we need more honest people in the world. Like 
it's not that big of a deal. You could have just, just let me know. Could have easily just reached out. So I ended up, of course, refunding the girl her money or whatever. But and this was a while ago, but I just thought about it again today because it did hurt my feelings. Because I'm like, damn, like I do consider y'all my friends, you know. So I would have thought like if something like that was to happen that people would just be honest my girl homegirl got her a free little unit and she didn't say nothing got me once you won't get me again it really did piss me off and i had to wait a little while to address it because i was upset but yeah it's all good so but yeah now we're on our way to i'm gonna go to target just to look around see what's new and then I'm gonna go to or should I go to Walmart first what time is it it's 10.09 I'm gonna go to um I, mm, yeah I'm gonna go to Target first and then I'll go across the street to Walmart because I think I'm gonna get me one of those little English muffins from out of that Starbucks and Target Cause I'm a little hungry. I had some cashews before I left the house. I don't know what I'm gonna cook today. I have some like leftover gravy. I've been wanting to do like some stewed chicken. I haven't did that in oh my gosh a long time. Some stewed chicken and I can kind of thin out that gravy and stew it in that. So we'll, we'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I have. I still have plenty of time to get that done. But I'll. Well, yeah. I'll pick y'all back up when we get in Target. You know, I don't know why I got this buggy because I don't plan on picking nothing up. I did find. Um, a couple of things in Target. I'll show y'all when I get home. And then I was going to get the English muffin. It's like an English muffin, turkey, bacon, and cheese, I think. Because um, it's only like 120 calories or something like that. But I said, well, I get the turkey pesto. That's like my favorite one. That one is like 520 calories, but I won't eat again until dinner time, so it's fine. Um, so I'm gonna sit here and eat this really quick, and then we're gonna go right across the street. Child, it's almost 11 o'clock. Look at this, it's so good. Look, can y'all see that? You can see it a little bit, but it's really good. If you guys haven't tried it, you should. I like the mozzarella pesto and tomato one too it doesn't have any meat it's good and then I got a small brown sugar espresso I hardly ever go to Starbucks. I'm not really a Starbucks girly. I saw all the little cups and stuff that everybody be getting. They're cute little cups, but I'm just not into that. <laughs> but they are cute. But yeah, I hardly ever buy coffee from Starbucks. Because y'all know I make my coffee at home. Or I'll go somewhere and get coffee. And I always give a fake name. My alias. Some of y'all might know if y'all been following me for a while. My alias has always been Tracy. Always. Tracy is my alias. So. I prefer. I prefer Tracy with an I. How did they spell it? They spelled it with a Y. But I did three pumps of vanilla. It's pretty good. I can make it better at home, though. This side right here is just straight bread. All the goodness on the other side. 
All right, let me eat this in peace. I'll talk to y'all in a few. I'm at Walmart. Y'all wish me luck. I have until Friday, so I'm not gonna just pick up anything. So hopefully I can find something. Now Walmart looks so different. And I don't know if I told y'all before, but I hate self-checkout. Like, I don't work here. Yeah, I do not do self-checkout, and that's mostly all they have in this Walmart. Self-checkout. Oh. I'll let you know if I need an application. Okay, y'all, these are the shoes that I got from Target. They're so cute. Like, can y'all really see them? Let me get by the light. So, Louie's sister, my nail tech sister, she had these on one day. And I'm like, oh my gosh, those are so cute. But they didn't have them in my Target. And that was weeks ago. And then today, I saw them. I'm like, oh my God, those are the shoes. These are so cute. Look at them. Super cute. Y'all don't look at my toes. I got to get my toes done this weekend. But how stinking cute. I love them. Cream, the gold buckle. So cute, so comfy. I love these. I'll link them. In the description box. Y'all, I've been so curious about the Zatarans. And this looks more like my fish. See how pretty and golden that is? That's how I like my fish to look, where it doesn't look like a lot of cornmeal. So, I'm going to taste it to see if it's salty. And I'll let you guys know. I did add my mustard. So I'll let you guys know in just a sec. I love the way that this looks. This is how my fish used to look with the entree. It looked just like this, like a piece of chicken. It doesn't have that cornmeal look to it. So I love that. That look good. Okay, let me try a little piece. Crispy on the outside moist in the inside <laughs> it's crunchy it's flavorful i love it <laughs> it's a go guys it's a go so i guess this is my new favorite fish fry new orleans style hey y'all it is the end of the night, and I'm talking to my blog. Always oh, been my business. I just wanted to come show y'all this mask. This is the Tatcha mask that I got in the mail last week. It's the Violet Sea Radiance mask, and it has like this little iridescent color to it. You can't really see it on camera, I don't think, but it looks so cool. I feel like, um, what's that little thing, those little blue things? What's it called? Um, what's the show with the, Tony? What's the show where the people blue? You know that movie where the people are blue? No, it's not a cartoon. What's it called? Yeah, they're not like real people, but Smurfs. who? The Smurfs. The Smurfs. No. What is it? Um, they live in the forest. It's like a car, it's a car too, really. What's the name of it? Um, y'all get like that? Y'all have to figure it out. What y'all think? Avatar. Yeah. yeah Avatar. Oh, okay, yeah. That's what I feel like. I feel like Avatar. <laughs> so, um, 
Yeah, I'm supposed to leave this on for 15 minutes. So I'm going to leave this on and then I'm going to get in the shower. Um, it said that I was supposed to put this on clean skin. My skin is not clean. I didn't wash my face before I put this on. It doesn't feel tight or anything like that. Um, which I like because, you know, you're so used to putting on face masks like this and then it tightens up and, you know, you can't move your face. But with this one, you can move your face freely. And I've had it on for probably like five minutes now and I don't feel restricted at all. So I kind of like this. Um, what is this supposed to do? So it's creamy resurfacing mask, brightening vitamin C plus fruit AHAs. Apply a generous amount on clean skin, avoid eyes, rinse off after 15 minutes. And this is how it looks. And then I think I have some other serum that came with that one. Because y'all know they sent me a total of four. I've already switched out my skincare for this month. So... Right now we're using, um, I'm using my, I'm using my Kiehl's products this month because I have a lot of Kiehl's products. They send, they send me PR2. So I'll be doing the retinol, um, under eye serum, and then we have the Kiehl's vitamin c and then i have the kills dark spot solution because i'm still trying to get rid of that mark right there it's still there and then i have the elemis facial oil i put this on like in the morning um and then of course the tatcha lip mask and I'm still going to use my Kabbalah just because I love it. Um, I had somebody say in the comments last week that she didn't really like the smell of the Kabbalah face mist. Girl, that's the whole beauty of the thing, okay? It just, it, it feels so refreshing. The smell isn't bad. Like, it's not... I mean, me personally, I don't like a very high fragrant anything on my face, but especially not a face mist. Um, but this beauty elixir, girl, this is the truth, okay? So many goodies in this for your skin. Girl, you gotta get past that smell. And it don't last long anyway, and it doesn't really smell bad to me. It's a very refreshing smell, so. It kind of smell minty, you know, green, things like that. But, girl, this stuff is awesome. But, you know, different strokes for different folks. I need to get some more because I am down to the last bit. And y'all know this is like my second bottle. I love this stuff. So, I was thinking about doing um, some red light therapy. I got some face masks product on this i need to this is my little ellie this is something that i bought from tiktok child the tiktok shop so the red light therapy is supposed to be good for i think like tightening and the collagen in your skin i haven't did this in a while um so this one has red green and blue i think i don't remember what the blue is for one is for like acne um, I can't remember what the green one is for. Nothing that I need. I'm going to use the red one. So I think I might do that tonight. Look, y'all listen. So y'all thought I was joking. She was at the She, Sharika said she told us she was in a rainforest. I get it. <laughs> I get the vibe. Uh, I'm telling you. Tell you. Listen, run. 
I told y'all. Go get it. <laughs> it's so good. I'm going back. Let me go get mine. Good morning. Y'all, I'm going to try this little hack that I found on TikTok. And I'm so thirsty to try it. Okay, so I'm going to sit y'all right here. But y'all know I have my little lemon squeezer. But I saw somebody on TikTok, they use this to squeeze out the lemon juice. And I'm like, I know that's right. Use what you got to get what you want, okay? I'm all about that. So I have a lemon squeezer, but I just thought that that was so cool. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. I'm going to, um, I'm also going to put it on my Instagram. So I'm going to set y'all up so y'all can watch it. And then y'all let me know if y'all have ever tried this in real life. Like, just grab this real quick and squeeze it because you can't get to your lemon squeezer fast enough or you can't find it or it's broke or whatever y'all let me know because i was today years old when i found out you could do this let's see that's one of the reasons why i just love tiktok because you can really learn so much from it like they have the very informative side and then they have like the fun side the messy side they just have all different types of sides okay what side y'all on period <laughs> and what happened with J-Lo child what did she do to these people cause they is mad at her I was trying to figure it out yesterday but girl what in the world did J-Lo do Jenny from the block because baby they is mad at her they mad I've seen a few videos with people mad and canceling her and this, that, and the third, but I want to know, like, what did she do? Like, what's the reason? All right, let me talk to my Instagram folks real quick. I'm not strong enough to do this. That little fool, I ain't gonna put that. <laughs> And this was a used lemon too, so I can't get that much juice out of it. But it's still cool. Let me see if I can get any more out of this. Yeah, the lemon squeeze is where it's at. Like your husband or somebody probably can really, you know, use this if they had to to really get a lot of juice out. But it's a little tough. It's a little tough. I got a little piece of um, seed in there. Yeah. Come on. Alright. Got my peppermint tea. That was still a real cool little hat. Okay, y'all. So, I am getting ready to film my Walmart haul. I did find some things. So, only thing I ask from you guys is once the video drops, just interact with the video. Talk about the pieces. If you like them, if you don't like them, if you plan on getting it, if you, you know, whatever. Let's interact with the content. Please and thank you. <laughs> so I just finished my makeup and now I'm getting ready to flat iron my hair. And then I'm gonna go ahead and film the video. Um, the pieces that you guys saw, the two pieces, the romper and that black outfit that will be included in the video. Um, because those are the first two pieces that I got and I had to get it approved anyway. Um, so they did approve those pieces, but I was just so excited to show y'all. So um, I've sold a lot of those outfits on my LTK. So those will be included, but then I have some other pieces that I have. So they're really cute. I'm really excited about it. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. So I can go ahead and get started on this video and then start a new vlog 
for our weekend vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I am Sharika B. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.